Don't you just love this time of year? It's such a great opportunity to enjoy the crisp, cool air, to celebrate the changing colors, and also to embrace our inner witchy self. To help you do that, Lightshine Academy has created the Halloween Witchcraft Workshop, also called The Witch Shop. If you're interested in crafting and casting spells, if you want to know how to work with the wheel of the year and the power of nature energy, this program is for you. Join us Halloween weekend, October 30th and 31st for a fun, immersive and magical workshop. So I thought I would set this up for you, this clip you're about to watch, so that you understand what the conversation is, because um, I was in a Q&A recently in one of the programs for Lightshine Academy, and we were talking about attunements and downloads, downloads in particular. And so in order to understand this conversation, you have to know what a download is. A download is a divine adjustment or attunement or activation or uh, an energy that causes you to shift. And in specific, it causes you to to up level your understanding, expand your awareness and make deeper, more profound connections with God, with creator, with your I am, with your purpose and all the things that we came here to do. We get these little boosts of forward movement and momentum through the facility of downloads. And spirit is actually always offering us downloads, always depositing these downloads into our field. And we activate downloads all the time, by the way, by just developing ourselves personally and in specific spiritually. So as you're learning and studying and growing and becoming more connected generally, please know that you're actually literally accessing higher and higher frequencies or planes of consciousness. You can regard these as literal grids of consciousness and on every grid and every level there exists energy and frequency specific to that grid and intelligence and knowledge and also beings so when you're hitting higher levels of frequency you open yourself up to everything available at that frequency which you receive in the form of downloads that's one way to get a bunch of downloads but another way to get them is directly from spirit from your divine emissary for example, your guides and your angels, and also directly from creator. The question that was asked, though, kind of stumped me because somebody said, well, if I receive a download, like if I get this good gift from spirit, but I don't accept it, or I'm not aware of it, or I don't realize that it's there, and therefore I don't integrate it, and I don't use it, does that mean it leaves? Does it just exit out of my field? Does it go somewhere else? Is it no longer available to me? Because maybe in five years, I'm going to want it. So what happens? And so what you're about to watch is just the conversation, me really going through uh, my different shifts and changes as I'm contemplating that because I didn't necessarily have the answer. You ready? Now that you know about downloads and how that works, let's get into it. If the download is not used and leaves, can it be accessed again at a later time when needed? Um, that's interesting because I'm I I'm never aware of a download exiting the field specifically, but I am also not aware of it just hanging out in the field, waiting for you to get ready or up level your frequency so that you're attuned to it are waiting for you. So I'm, I'm actually, maybe, maybe it when I was talking about the interaction with Jesus and the woman in the crowd who reaches out and touches the hem of the garment, I, I really wish I would have expounded a little bit on it as I was listening to myself. But the reason that's such a great illustration of energy healing, because it really looks at how important the receiver's role is in receiving the healing. So Jesus is Jesus. Jesus is the son of God. Jesus is divine. He's the healer. He's occupying, embodying. He's all of that. But without the woman, there's no healing. Without the reaching out, without the belief. Oh, and the belief is so important. Without the belief, there would be no healing. It's, it's important for us to remember that as energy healers, especially if we're ever going to work with clients, because we're going to need to prime the client, really educate the client, whether that's with some materials beforehand or with 
some sort of a discussion beforehand so that they understand that their role in it is just as important as the role of the healer. If they don't reach out and say yes and believe that it's possible, the healing, the attunement, the, the download doesn't get integrated. And um, or if it happens, it doesn't stay. That's another thing that can happen. I know that's getting away a little bit from your question. Um, I don't know. I'm just going to leave it at that. I don't, I don't know. I think that good gifts are always on offer, especially gifts of frequency and gifts that facilitate proximity. And what I mean by that is gifts that facilitate a relationship, a close relationship to creator, to purpose, to I am, and to our own innate gifts. Those are always on offer. And so if we do not avail ourselves of an attunement or a healing or a blessing, there's always something else that's going to be offered when we are ready. Those are always available. But as to the specific one that came down the chute, came down the pipe, I don't know. I don't think there are any hard and fast rules about that. And I'm, and I'm sure if, <laughs> if you became aware of an opportunity, a blessing that was offered to you, which you did not take at the time, because maybe you were afraid, here's one. Maybe you started to notice that there were some psychic things happening in your experience. Maybe you started to see things out of the corner of your eyes. Maybe you started to feel things in the palm of your hands. Maybe you started to have really vivid dreams and spiritual messages coming through, whatever it is, but it scared you. Instead of uh, exciting you, right? And getting you inspired to know more and to lean into it and to develop that, it scared you. And so for that moment, it was not available to you. If one year later, you are ready for that and you're, you've educated yourself, you've taken the intuitive intensive, which is by the way, coming up in January, taking the intuitive, intuitive intensive, you've, you've really equipped yourself with the knowledge, the learning, the practice, the information. If one year later you're ready for it and you know it was coming online, but you didn't accept it, you can call it back in absolutely. You can call it back in and ask for it absolutely and reactivate that or activate that in your experience. Now, does that mean it's a new one that comes down? I don't know. Does that mean it's still hanging out in your expanded field and you're just pulling it closer and activating it? I don't know. Good question, though. I like those kinds of questions. Stump the teacher, I say. The Lightshine Development Circle is a sacred place for spiritual seekers to practice giving and receiving readings. The circle is open to all psychics, oracle card readers, mediums, channels, energy healers, Akashic Records readers, and any other type of spiritual practitioner who offers their service via a reading style format. If you're ready to awaken your gifts and talents and fine tune your intuitive abilities, we'd love to have you in the circle. 